Hey everybody, good night. Oh my God, did Whitney come and just open for me? Yes, Queen Netflix special, come on, I'm ready. I guess they're saving the best for last. Yeah. If you are one of those people that easily get offended, just hang on tight, all right? I'm gonna make this nasty, but fast. Just like I had hopes Trump's administration would be. If Jesus was alive today, I'm pretty sure we would hang out. Like, look at that dude's life. He turns water into wine. I can just see Jesus being like, take that fish that I taught you how to fish, make into sushi roll. Get that wine, and let's have a mating orgy. Party. The location, Moses' yacht, because Jesus run with a fancy ground. The only thing I pray in the end of that drunken night, it's something like this. Please get some dick in my life. Please just get some dick in my life. Get some dick in my life. <laughs> so, waking up to one of my drunk straight girlfriends is killing my spirituality. <laughs> I feel like it's d tough to date here in LA because it's always a better looking you standing next to you in the crowd. You know what I mean? Like, you always have a good look like singers, slash models, slash actors slash server slash broke standing next to you in the crowd. Thanks to men, I'm willing to try everything like different race, age, economic class. I'm basically saying yes to every dick that comes in my way now. I'm still not getting any though. And like the other day, I brought a guy over. We didn't have sex or anything because he, he was American. So you guys like to talk a lot. But um, he left his GBL like wireless earphone. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Bomb. They're like a hundred dollars each, so like I kept it as a gift. <laughs> that realize what a great economy we live in. It's like here in America, you don't really have to pay for anything. They'll give you money or credit based on how much of a good payer you were. And I don't think America realize yet, I'm not a good one. <laughs> Keep throwing money at me, I'm not gonna pay this shit. <laughs> Maybe because I'm Brazilian and Yes, are you Brazilian too? No. Oh, I just like to shout. Okay. I don't know if you guys know much about Brazil, but we are a mix of like native South America, uh, Africans, and Portuguese. And that mix usually ended up with somebody like Giselle Binchin. But nature sometimes fucks it up. And here I am. Uh, from the native, uh, South America got this habit of appreciating herbs, if you guys know what I mean. <laughs> uh, from the Africans, I got this really curly hair, which if I don't shave every other week, it makes me look like Will Smith on Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. But in my case, it's like uh, Rodrigo, Fresh Queen of Culver City. Hi. <laughs> And I moved out of Brazil right after Zika virus became international news. <laughs> but I landed here in America that was about to be ruled by Trump. Like, do I go back to Brazil and deal with the brainless baby that can come out of Zika virus? Or do I stay and deal with the brainless president that came out of this election? Right? Tough call. It's like America just became like Hunger Games. I'm surrounded by this wall. There's this weird guy with bright colored hair trying to ruin everything. <laughs> Tell you a little story that happened to me not that long ago. So I went to San Diego and I walked in this hotel with my friend and then we saw this really cute, like sexy, tan, fit, uh, cute, that's the point, cute guy uh, in the lobby, he was the receptionist and me and my friend started speaking in Portuguese, like how we would like to like take him on top of that desk, like just cute things that you say to your friend. <laughs> And then, at the end of the check-in, the guy came up to us and he was like, he turned to us and he was like, Oh, uh, prazer, meu nome é Paulo e espero que vocês tenham uma ótima estadia no hotel. I did my first, my first plastic surgery this year. No? No claps? Okay. <laughs> so I went and got myself a hair transplant. But when I found out that baldness is something you inherit for your grandfather, I went and try to call that bastard and send him the medical bill. He was like, Rodrigo, you did your surgery in Beverly Hills, not to brag. <laughs> 
With that type of money in Brazilian currency, you can buy a whole human being. <laughs> I've been living in LA for what, three years now? This day I don't really get it, the whole uh, personal space concept. It's like, yeah, I get it. Like, if I see a white person like walking towards me on the sidewalk, I would stop and do the little dance that looks like that in my head. It's like, oh, wait, I'm sorry, no, you're sorry, no, okay, no, please, come. you're first, no, okay, okay. <laughs> but, I never got it, like in my head it was like, dude, like we are not that fat, like you can just walk right through me. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> uh, one of my friends went the, uh, to Thailand and she brought me back some souvenirs. She brought me back this like coffee sand dick shaped soap. <laughs> this is what my friends think of me. <laughs> She almost got it right though. The only thing it's a little bit too small. But I guess that bitch was flying on a budget. I hope you guys have a lot of fun. My name is Rodrigo. Thank you so much.